Hello, I'm Dave Graybill, FishingMagician.com, and today I wanted to describe to you uh, one of the newest methods being used on the Columbia River. It's actually been employed for several years, but you may have noticed, if you're an active angler, that many anglers are leaving their downriggers at home and are using lead balls when trolling for king salmon when they're using flashers. So I wanted to describe to you today how to get set up to use lead balls when trolling for kings on the Hanford Reach in particular. Now, what I have here, this represents your main line that goes to your rod and reel. And you'll notice that I have put a bead, a swivel, a bead, and then a roller swivel. You can also use a beaded chain. I tend to like these roller swivels. And then below the swivel, I have a uh, plug snap or a, a locking snap hanging below that. Now, the whole purpose of that is to be able to attach your lead ball. This is a 12 ounce sinker, which is fairly commonly used down in the Hanford Reach, often being uh, trolled in say roughly 20 feet of water. And so now this will slide and that's the purpose of the bead is so it doesn't bang against your knots. Uh, very simple rig. Uh, some people will put a swivel on the opposite end so they can remove this setup easily and then switch back to a downrigger rig but a lot of people um, will just leave this on and unhook their uh, sinker. Now to the sinker, right below the swink sinker, to the uh, roller swivel, I'm attaching, you can see I have tied another roller swivel, another plug snap, and then I've got 24 inches of heavy mono to another roller, roller swivel and another plug snap. Now this, this is important to have that set up uh, to attach to your line below your lead ball. And then this attaches to your flasher. And you just clip that on your flasher. Now what you've got is uh, two feet of line that allows your flasher to do its work. It's going to rotate in a circle. It's going to spin and rotate in a circle of up to three feet behind your lead ball. So you have to have a, a fair distance of line between the lead ball and your flasher to allow it to do its work. And then at the bottom end of your flasher, and remember this is a pro troll flasher, to make sure the rudder's at the bottom end of that, and then this is where, this is the end that you'll attach your uh, swivels and to your super bait or whatever lure you're using. You'll notice I'm using a, a lot of swivels on this rig, and that's important when you're using a flasher and super bait, you use a lot of swivels because you've got a lot of things going on. Also, it's important to check this probably every 15, 20 minutes or so. Uh, it's a good thing to, to check and refresh your bait, your tuna fish and your lure, but also to make sure that you haven't picked up weeds that can jam your beaded chain or your roller swivels, and that can cause a real problems if you don't find out about that early. So that's pretty much the system. Um, you'll find it very effective. You'll see a lot of people using it. I'm using that now uh, at Chelan Falls uh, every, every opening day now. And also I've caught fish uh, using this same method uh, at Blowanapum Dam. 
I'll put out uh, two downriggers uh, with uh, traditional flasher and uh, super bait setups. And then I'll put a um, lead ball out the back uh, for my uh, third rod and have caught fish on that back rod. It's not a surprise. So this is a good setup to learn to use. And um, if you have any questions, you can also email me at fishingmagician.com. Click the contact button and uh, send me a note and I'll be happy to get back to you. Good luck this season.